Hi, it's Bruce and uh, Joanne from Ontario Bee Rescue. Um, it's Saturday and we're doing a bee extraction from someone's roof. Um, it's an overhang over a bay window, old 140 year old house, uh, metal roof over a bay window and full of bees. So the lady there is a brand new beekeeper and um, Mary is her name. And so she's called us in to do an extraction because she cares about the bees. So we don't want to kill bees, so um, if you ever find bees in a wall or in your floor or, or in a tree or on a fence, call Ontario Bee Rescue. Yeah, good to know. Pick, I'm not a bird can, person. You can so. pick up a bird in your hand and put, put it back, back and, and it's fine. Mom's like, thanks. Yep. So what are you doing? I'm putting, uh, these are baby doves. We had to move them to get the roof off to get at the bees, which weren't there. It was a dead oat hive and the, the homeowner's bees are feeding from the dead oats honey from last year. So we tore the roof off and there's no bees. It's just a bunch of old honey from last year. In the meantime, we had to relocate these little guys because they were halfway on the roof and halfway on the tree. So we're going to put them up here in the ivy, upstairs from the robin's nest. Okay. Because, you know, even though we didn't save the bees, we are going to save the birds. We're saving the doves. We, we love nature, so we'll do whatever we can. And here's, here's Bruce picking up chicks in Strathroy. Not right here. Watch for a bit, mummy will come back. Yeah, I think so. I don't think they're gonna. Hi, it's uh, Bruce. We um, we came to do a bee extraction at a at a lady's house. It's a bay window. Uh, they thought the bees were in the roof. We spent an hour and a half tearing the roof off, um, only to find a dead out hive with about 10 pounds of honey. And the bees were the owner's bees feeding on the honey from the dead out hive. So there is no bees. There was a lot of comb and a lot of honey and a, a lot of wasp nest, hornet nest, paper wasps, I guess. Um, but um, unfortunately, no bees. Um, so, but you know, we've, we've at least figured out what happened. Um, the, the people were replacing this rooftop, this roof part of the roof anyway. And, um, and we, uh, we had uh, another more lessons on how to locate and how to find them and how to remove things and, and things like that. So, so uh, we want to, um, thank them for calling us in the first place and not killing bees. Now these people keep bees, so that makes a lot of sense. That's why they wanted to save them. But anybody else that finds bees on their property, um, we, uh, we will go get the bees for free if they're outdoors and they're less than 15, 20 feet off the ground, we'll go get them for free. If they are in a wall or in your ceiling or in your floor, we do have some people that do extractions. We will come and help you. Just give us a call. You can look up OntarioBeeRescue.com. We've got 75 beekeepers now across Ontario uh, that want to help. We want to save bees. We want to help people with their problems with bees. We don't want them killed. Uh, we want to, you know, help the bees and help people. And that's, that's kind of what we're all about. So uh, thanks for watching the videos and I uh, hope you all have a great day.
Save the bees. Where are they going? The bees in the back. Right, have a great day. Okay, but now it's worth it. Are you sure your hive's <laughs> not swarming? That's well, what I'm worried about. She, her hives wouldn't be swarming after two weeks. My hives are not very busy. Yeah, 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 there wasn't. Somebody swarming. It's been a great day for So, so look. If those bees weren't your bees, they'd they be were in, in a tree be, or they be, were in somebody's they'd, wall. They'd be there today. This is them. Yep. And the, and those were scout bees. Those were scout bees. Oh, and yeah. And they went and just told everybody. Yep. That's what it was. That's what it was, Bruce. Okay, so That's look. exactly what it was. Okay, so look. Yep. Isn't that cool? Both boxes. Yep. Oh, that was a really, that was a really good thought. That's wow. It didn't cross my mind that that's what it was. It wasn't Robin. Those were scouts. Oh, wow. That's awesome. So That's a good thing we hung out. They're in there like huge. They're just scurrying in there. Yep. And they're moving into two different boxes. Yep. Here, and let's, why let's, are they yep. moving all in there? Just the honey they want? Or is it, is yeah, there the was. Queen there's. In there, or what? The queen will be up here somewhere. They're, yeah. They're, yep, look at that. Box. And there's the smells now in the press. Yep. So they're coming in the. And this is why we love bees. They do the most unexpected things. So, so that's what it was. You know what? Look at that. This was today. Yeah, I want to see. You want to get some of that? Yeah. This was. This was. So, so they're moving into two separate swarm. Those are swarm traps that I carry in the in the truck, right? Here, let me move this. Oh, yeah, let's do. There you go. We'll get some good shots here. We, we, oh yeah. So these are two swarm boxes. They've got uh, like a frame of honey and a frame of brood comb, and one spritz of swarm commander in okay. each box. You want Isn't this awesome? So this is about 50,000 bees around me. And this is why we, we have, this is why beekeepers love bees because they're, the mo they're one of the most docile animals on the planet and everybody's scared of them and they're not to be scared of. Oh, that's amazing. Bruce, look up. Look up, like just, just, yeah. Yeah, funky. Bait boxes, so inside these boxes is a frame of honey, a frame of brood comb, and, uh, and a spritz of swarm commander. And this is just... We got back to the apiary from Strath Strathroy at Mary's place. We had two boxes with swarms going into them. While we were driving back, it took a half an hour. They all moved into one box. So we got back here, and had the two boxes that the swarms were moving into, and you see it in the video, um, while we were driving, they all moved into the other box, which means that's the box that had the queen. So um, now they are all in here, and uh, just I just moved them all over, and then we put a, a, a super on top of it, and there's a lot of honey in here, so they'll, they'll have lots of honey. They'll clean this all out, and, uh, and start the queen will start laying in there. So um, it was a great day. We, uh, we went to do an extraction. It turned out not to be a, a colony. And while we were there, we got uh, this massive swarm, which was great. And so we brought them home. Uh, we now have another hive here at the apiary. <clears throat> and uh, thanks to Mary, um, that was great. It was a fun day. Um, yeah, that's pretty neat. So they'll clean this all out. We'll start seeing, we'll start seeing this kind of stuff going on. It's cleaning all across here in the morning. And uh, and yeah, that's great. We got another hive on the go.